Professor Kadasawa, mm -hmm. thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Yep. Um, can you tell us a bit about your keynote speech? Mm -hmm. Just a brief summary of the... Well, today I presented um, a talk consisting of two main parts. One of them was about uh, the psychological basis for the motives uh, of punishing uh, someone who committed a crime or did something wrong against the law or a norm, and why and how do we come to like to or want to punish that person. And that's about the uh, psychological basis you know, of punitive motives. That was the first part. And the second part had something to do with a similar story about punishing or blaming a group almost like an individual. Just like the group had something bad in their mind, what, are the, what would be the conditions where people come to think that way? So overall, this was about morality and the desire to punish the, and legal along with the legal implications and uh, uh, possibilities for further psychological research. When you conducted this research, was mm -hmm. your sample um, Japanese? Oh yes, right. So far, entirely Japanese samples. Um, do you think your findings would differ if you were to take, um, for example, the United States? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I do. Um, uh, almost obviously, there should be cultural bases for the psychological processes that I mentioned, like uh, wanting to punish someone, or first of all, uh, the way we, the way people find an act uh, going against the rule or norm. I mean, that kind of conception could be, or even should be dependent on the cultural meaning. So I would expect uh, there should be a difference. But also, on the other hand, you know, this is an important note, I think, uh, particularly for uh, psychologists. Psychology, especially uh, psychological research taking a scientific perspective, tends to look at uh, human nature as having something in common. So we tend to look for general and common rules in human behavior. And that has been a long tradition of this psychological science. And just quite recently, you know, you may be surprised, but only recently uh, psychologists uh, on the scientific side started to look at, even started to consider cultural aspects. So it's, you know, the answer is complicated. It's both yes and no. I mean, have you attended many interdisciplinary conferences before? Yes, um, many, depending on the definition of many. But I tend to be a person who's more interested in interdisciplinary works rather than staying focused on the so-called mainstream, so to speak, mainstream psychology research. So I have been to conferences such as uh, areas like political psychology and the, the justice research and cross-cultural psychology as well. And this is a different issue from what I talked today, but also I've been working on the study of language and thinking. So I have been to conferences on linguistics and so, so on and so forth. So yes, I have been to those interdisciplinary ones. Okay, so this, this particular conference mm -hmm. uh, combines psychology and the behavioral sciences, uh, so the ACP element, mm -hmm. which is the keynote speaker, with um, ethics, religion, and philosophy. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps we could take those each in turn, ethics, religion, and philosophy. Um, do they, are they in your consciousness at all when you're um, conducting your research? Uh, recently, uh, yes, uh, particularly uh, in areas like philosophy and ethics, there are a growing number of researchers who take an experimental approach, and there are some controversies about pros and cons, you know, for taking this kind of approach. So yes, uh, in ethics, I can find a lot of empirical 
research, um, just like the works that we do. Um, so that's one part of the answer. For religion, I don't really know much about that area. But on the other hand, in the area of psychology, religion has been an issue that many researchers have been trying to avoid. Because, uh, probably because a lot of researchers typically find it difficult to approach an issue like religion uh, from a typical psychological viewpoint. But right now, well, recently, there is a growing interest uh, in issues like morality and religion uh, in the empirical, uh, psych in the area of empirical psychology. So, um, uh, for the psychological part, yes, uh, there is an interest in the inter intersection between these uh, different areas, I would say. Mm -hmm. Professor Kanazawa, thank you very much. Thank you.